Well, that's because of you, Chef. Oh, Pat yes, Harris. because of me, because, the world. Well, you know what? You know, uh, first of all, yep. I, I have to tell you how much we appreciate how you kind of oh. teach us how to do things along Absolutely. the way. Um, uh, Chef Cody Harris from the Thirsty Lion Pub and Grill. Uh, just in the last segment, I don't know if you, I hope you didn't miss it, but if you did, we made this amazing kale salad. And I have to tell you, I just taste tested it. The dressing is to die for. But you said it's something that you need to use right away. You don't want to yeah. store it in a refrigerator. We, like I said, we make it twice to three times a day in the okay. restaurant because it holds its flavor that way. It's not something you can sit in the fridge and really it gets better with time. Okay. Like some things do. All right. So if you so, if yeah. you download the recipe, you want to make it and use it. Yeah, and make it and it'll, use it. Okay. Okay. Um, I tuna. A healthy. Uh, this is a yellowfin tuna. Nice and red. You is can, that sushi grade? Yes. Okay. It is, but it's a yellowfin. That's where the, the family is. Oh, is a gotcha. Yellowfin. So what we do for our seared ahi is I have a cast iron skillet here. You can definitely use a Teflon pan at home. Oh. No problem, but cast iron gives it a nice crisp outside. Okay. So we're, we have a little bit of sesame oil here, and I'm just going to douse the whole thing. I've got a little bit of Cajun spice that you can just buy at the store. This happens to be a McCormick's brand. Okay. And I've mixed it with some sesame seeds, black and white. Oh. And I'm just going to dab it a little bit like that. And then we're just going to put it right on the skillet. You're going to see smoke. Oh, you did a little while ago. I know. Oh, no. So there. there. You go. So once you get it pressed oh, down, we see it. you just want to have it cooked a little bit on the bottom. Okay. Maybe a quarter inch. So we'll let that go. All righty. This is our base salad. This is spring mix. And I have a little bit of Napa cabbage okay. with some green onions and some cilantro and carrots. I just sliced up some cucumbers. I took the seeds out. A little bit of red pepper. Oh, oh back to the tuna. See, already oh, ready. Oh, that happens the white? fast. Yeah. So wow. once you get that, see, nice little darkness on the outside. I love it. Um, a little bit of chopped cilantro, a little bit of more carrot, and then this right here is a ginger wasabi dressing. Show him. So it is fresh ginger okay. that we've pureed up, a little bit of wasabi powder, a touch of mayonnaise, some wh white wine vinegar, a little bit of lime juice. Ooh. That sounds delicious. All right. So okay, you pour that in dressing. my mixer. Okay, I got okay, it. Okay, you got it. Get All right, so that. back to the tuna over here. You know um, what? I uh, love what you had just mentioned to me that you actually said we were talking about because I'm loving that kale salad. Yeah. That you actually sold more kale salads at the restaurant than yes, regular garden regular salads. Regular garden salads. People are really starting to get that right, kale is like the superfood. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's so full of nutrients. I mean, I have friends that puree it up in things. So, mm -hmm. and drink it. So, wow. okay, so this is the ahi tuna. Okay. And I'm just going to take my knife here and I'm just going to thinly slice it like that. So, you're not cooking this through? No, this Once is a, again, a raw. Is... We're just putting a little bit of heat on the outside. So, you want it nice and thin like that because then it is just so delicate to eat. Oh, my goodness. Like that. So, what can we I, do. Can I eat oh, that? yeah, absolutely. Right. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Nice, very tender. supple, oh very my tender. Gosh. So after we're all done here, we just place it on a plate and we fan it. And this is a little bit of soy sauce that we have thickened just to give it that salty flavor mm -hmm. to with the sweet of the ginger wasabi dressing. We do fry up a little bit of wontons for crunch. They're not, you know, all that fattening. Yes, they're fried, but you can go without, and yeah, we just garnish it with it. a little cilantro. Okay. Yeah. So we have only about a little over a minute okay. left. Well, so if you could show our, us how to yep, do the no problem. Shrimp. I just have some. Uh, regular bacon here I've cut in half. I just put a little pepper on it. I take, this is a 21-25 shrimp. That means there's 21 prawns per pound when okay. you go to the store and you see it. Oh, so you know about the size. Right, the okay. size, because gotcha. you want this size for cooking. Yeah. You merely just wrap it like this. Take another one. Oops. And we'll just wrap it like this. And I just put a stick through it in order to hold it. Now and these aren't you don't you don't pre cook the shrimp. No, and then, no, does no. Does this go and in the oven or? No, it does not. It goes directly on your barbecue oh, at home, and you just grilling. cook it until the bacon gets crispy. I just put a skewer through them like this, and then they're all ready to go. They're not falling all over your barbecue. I love we that. We base this with a Newcastle uh, barbecue sauce, Newcastle brown ale barbecue sauce that we cook with at the restaurant. Oh, we nicely. also it's a little Napa slaw underneath, and you just baste it as the bacon is cooking, and that helps to crisp the bacon up. Now, is this more of like an appetizer it there? Is. It's I, an appetizer. I, I see that as a meal. Yeah, I well, eat me that too. in a kale salad, and I'm good yeah. to go. Absolutely. Me so they too. got a little bacon in there. Yeah, Who cares? Right. It's cheat day. <laughs> I know. It's every day's cheat day every here on Sonoran Living Live. <laughs> so, so, yeah, right. so those are two nice sal a salad and an appetizer that you can do at home that are Excellent. fairly easy. Excellent. All right. Well, we do have the, well, you provided the recipes, which mm -hmm. we always appreciate oh, when we you. have chefs who will share. But um, in the last thing that we're going to do, you're going to make up these beautiful fish tacos for us. What kind of fish are these? Yeah. This is a codfish. Okay. And these are gluten-free. The kale salad is gluten-free. 
the dates are gluten free. Oh. When you take these wontons off, the ahi sally is gluten free. Well, there you Unfortunately, go. Unfortunately, my, my shrimp are not, so. That's all right. Yeah, no. no celiacs there. No, you can't, you know, gotta give up something. <laughs> all, right. all right, well, thank you, Chef. Thank you very much. All right, Susan. Okay.